when when you start with a uh, platform development in boomi integrations right so first of all uh, when you give your username and password direct, directly you land onto default page so this is the default page so that is a build page that we see so for instance uh, let's uh, talk about something about build one now so on to your left you see there is a process explorer so this is the process explorer i see right the one which is which i'm moving into so you can organize your folder structure in this way right so you see um, one of my process or uh, one of my development screens would be manage something like this so there is a folder with this name and then if i open it there are common objects that are handling and the master one process and sandbox if i open that again i see there are multiple like in other processes so in that folder i have some other so it is more important that how you manage your integration process right it's not just a simple integration right you have to look into what are the different options available and uh, how do we connect to different endpoints how do we maintain the common um, objects right so common objects is also most important so likewise uh, we have to you know configure or use the folder structure available in boomi so it's more important to understand how do we organize the our uh, different data right so for instance let's say uh, i have an access to this account and i want to perform some poc or let's say my test environment for that there is a folder created called z sandbox if i open it you see that there are different folders again so in my folder i have different other examples which are done so in that in, in some others there is something like this so that's way uh, this is a way you can actually you know configure uh, your integration folders this is one um, example of it right so likewise this is a project example so in our project um, we have actually you know included different modules of the single integration process so there are different modules installed in it so this is where you actually start the managing your development area right and to your right you see the welcome tab by default so once you open each of the process you see that in a different tabs right and then accordingly we can proceed the development activity so for instance let's say i have developed one of the process let me show you that so there is a process uh, that says europe and usa if i click, click on us right so this is one of the process which calls each of the process which is inside this folder so this is the main one parent i can say this is in which i go to each of the folder and start other process right so this is the overall integration process scope that i can say so i want to deploy this i want to show you the cycle of it so once the deployment is done on this screen you have a button called view deployment here when i click on view deployment it takes you to the build of uh, deploy so you see it has taken me to the deploy page previously it was built so it took me to deploy all right so in deploy uh, you see the name of the process was the de de default selected all right and then i see the, in the deployments um, there is something which is attached then there are different uh, uh, deployments being made and you see the timings as well and which date and on which time we have to uh, you know deployed so uh, how do we generally do is that also it's the same thing because once we develop it we click on the view deployment the main process so this thing appears the screen appears right let's say for instance for the new a process you don't see uh, attached in your, you don't see anything under attached in environments you have to move to attachments first and then you see in under unattached environments there are multiple um, you know multiple environments listed like uh, test2 but like this is one of the environment which i can see right similarly uh, i have done i have moved this environment to this 
So let me show you uh, a environment concept before I go, uh, show something about here. Right. So once we select view deployment, we are landed to this page. So before deployment, we actually should have installed a kind of you know uh, environments in Boomi. So this is the atom management screen, so which will be available to you. So in the atom management screen, this is the default lookup of it, how it looks. And then you see on my left eye again the same thing. Um, Atom Management Explorer, wherein you see in the bold lines there is test and test two. So this name and this name is nothing but the bold ones with a down arrow, nothing but the environments. So it is as simple as creating environments. So you click on plus new, you see an atom and environment, I click on environment and give some name. I give it as rod. Click on save. So it's created, it's as simple as creating a, uh, an environment. You see, I can also look at what are the environment classifications. So by default it's broad. I have other one called test. So I'm just creating both of them. Okay, so it says test is already existing. So we'll delete it now, so just to show you an instance of how it looks. Right. So let me click on prod. So if I click on prod, you see the different information of it. There is an environment ID, which is a primary key for this particular, uh, you know, environment. And then next to it, I see the classification. So classification is production, uh, which I have selected before creating it. Like, and then I have roles. So who per I mean, which person can access this particular environment? Is listed down here. So I, I have different, uh, you know, uh, roles enabled in this account. So accordingly, that person can only look at what are the different roles that have uh, uh, that I can assign different roles. And then attachments is nothing but an atom to attach. So once you install an atom in your local machine, right? So it uh, it actually you know, comes under this page. So it installs under this page. So how, how is that? We we'll just uh, do an installation now. So and post that and see how do we attach the particular atom to an environment today. All right, so um, this is an attachment page where we attach atom to the uh, particular environment. So if I click on, so there is something called administration under which you see you are to delete an environment or environment extensions. So environment extensions are nothing but the dynamic parameters that you can pass on the environment level. So let's say you have configured your development process to accommodate a future value which can be dynamic, right? So environment extensions comes into picture when you want to make some changes. So for instance, just to show you as an example, this is a working uh, uh, environment where the roles are these two and attachment is this is one of the atom all right so you can see atom is a round symbol here icon uh, pop up so the name of that is pan c and um, here is a version two of it all right so if i click on environment extensions you see there are different configuration parameters connection settings dynamic process properties, process properties, cross reference, PGP, and data maps. So these all things will be discussing in the development activity. But you see the process filter again, you can dig down to each of the process and uh, you can accordingly configure what are the different parameters available. Right? Let's say for instance, for my process, one of my process, I, I want to pass the starting date and ending date and each filter a value and which country is it. So I, I made it as a dynamic so that I can pass on the values in future. I can just change it. And if I click on OK, so these values will be chosen by the deployed processes. So after deployment only, you'll be able to see this process properties or anything under the environment extensions. Without any deployment, you don't see anything.
so these things again we will look into once we are once we have completed our development activity so this is just for your information right how do it looks and uh, uh, what, what exactly environment extensions are right so we look into what are the best standards and uh, you know configuring the environment extension Thank <music> you.